Today, startups are at the epicenter of driving innovations in the healthcare industry. With rising healthcare costs, changing patient demographics, and the evolving customer expectations, healthcare stakeholders are looking to invest in innovative healthcare delivery models. The goal is pretty clear, reduce healthcare costs and improve patient outcomes. Effective collaboration with startups will help the healthcare providers to provide personalized healthcare. So let's have a quick look at the top healthcare stories of this week. Let's start with the latest on the COVID-19 vaccine. UK has finally started its mass vaccination program. A 90-year-old woman, Margaret Keenan, became the first person to receive the COVID vaccine developed by Pfizer and BioNTech. The vaccine was the first of 800,000 plus doses that will be dispensed in the coming weeks. The initial plan is to administer vaccine to the frontline healthcare workers and to people over 80 years of age. However, after two people reported adverse effects on the first day of the rollout, Britain's medicine regulator has advised people with a history of significant allergic reactions to avoid getting the Pfizer-BioNTech COVID-19 vaccine. Well, that road bump aside, after UK, US is now getting out to roll out the COVID-19 vaccine within the next few days. In fact, by the time you get to see this, the first person in the US would have already got the vaccine. Global biopharma company AstraZeneca has been making headlines for vaccines for a while now. But this time, for this week, the company is also focused on detecting a new form of lung cancer. AstraZeneca has partnered with healthcare startup Cure AI to integrate AI solutions for the early detection of lung cancer in patients across Latin America, Asia, the Middle East, and of course, Africa. Founded by a group of Indians, Cure AI has raised $16 million so far in a funding round led by Sequoia Capital. The healthcare startup was incubated in data analytics firm Fractal Analytics. Scientists from Trinity College Dublin have developed a new gene therapy approach that offers a one-day treatment option for eye diseases that lead to a progressive loss of vision and affects thousands of people across the globe. This therapy can successfully protect visual functions and mitochondrial performance in human cells that contain mutations. The gene OPA1 provides instructions for making a protein that is found in cell tissues throughout the body and which is pivotal for maintaining proper functions in the mitochondria, which are energy producers in cells. Healthcare startups seem to have come quite far from the more traditional to a more open innovation model since COVID-19 pandemic. Singapore-based medtech company CellID has developed a palm-sized portable genetic test kit for COVID. Known as Quiz PCR Biochip, the test kit can detect various viruses at any time using an app. The test kit can also perform two tests at a time outside the laboratory using biotechnology. And a QR code on the biochip helps healthcare providers with quick identification and a faster delivery of the results electronically. Israeli medtech startup Brainsgate has raised $14 million to treat Isamic stroke from BNP Joint Capital Fund and other existing investors. A medical devices company, Brainsgate develops therapies for patients suffering from central nervous system diseases with a focus on the treatment of acute Isamic stroke. Now, accessing quality healthcare is the birthright of every individual. But this doesn't hold true for a majority of people in rural India. The lack of qualified doctors and of healthcare infrastructure has always been a matter of great concern. And the pandemic, in addition, has further underlined this gap and the importance of having quality healthcare available to everybody. Bangalore-based startup 5e Healthcare has now focused on this area by offering a mobile technology that connects people in rural areas with doctors online through video calls. Additionally, they provide access to hospitals also in case of emergencies. This startup also works with the diagnostic labs and sample collection centers to make pathology tests easily available in rural areas. A Boston and San Francisco-based digital therapeutics startup, Pair Therapeutics, has raised $80 million funding from SoftBank in a Series D round. The startup offers app-based therapy and tracking tools for patients in treatments for insomnia and substance abuse. 
Fair has recently launched its third FDA-authorized prescription digital therapeutics for the treatment of chronic insomnia. The company claims that its FDA-authorized products are currently addressing a very large market in the US and with more than 20 million patients suffering from substance abuse and opioid use disorders, there's more than 30 million chronic insomniacs in the region. Well, that's a wrap for this week's episode. As always, next Monday, we'll be back with more healthcare updates. Till then, stay tuned and don't forget to subscribe to Global Healthcare Archives by Medvarsity.